Hello Capricorn darlings, Taurus and Virgo, I'm Laurel, welcome to Laurel's Loneliness Bitch, join me as I read you your life baby, thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel, I appreciate each and every single one of you, yes I do babies, so if you'd like to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below, and you can also check out my website laurelsmoon.com. And you can also email me at lorellbanks at gmail.com. So here we go. Capricorns, you first, my loves. Honey, I didn't have to start the video over about three times. Here we go. I seen this in the pre-shuffle. There was definitely some sort of ending or some sort of betrayal that happened. All right, I seen the Ten of Swords energy. And I also seen uh, the Three of Wands. So I felt... Like you guys could have had some sort of third party situation you were trying to get over. But Capricorn, I do see here that there's definitely a situation where it's like someone is becoming highly aware to their emotions and highly aware to uh, what it is that they're wanting emotionally. All right. You could be dealing in the magic realm to get this happiness, but I'm definitely seeing here for some of you all, it could be a situation overall that you're just trying to mind your own business. All right, you have the nine of coins and also the chariot energy towards some sort of movement. Okay, you feel like you're in your element, but you're trying to push forward some new movement here. You could be dealing with a Cassadian. So, I'm seeing here, Capricorn, somebody's definitely defensive. You have the nine of spears energy and also the two of coins and the two of swords. There could be some sort of decision that you're needing to make or something that you're definitely in two minds about. It's a lot of twos here, so it could be that duality. And I'm seeing here, for some of you guys, there could be a situation overall where you're dealing with going back and forth or um, someone juggling two different minds or two different situations is what I'm seeing here, going back and forth. So I feel like uh, your partner sees you as someone who's going through a major judgment, seeing the light, going through a major calling. Your partner's definitely wanting to build with you with this emperor energy. You could be dealing with someone who's older, but I am seeing here with this emperor energy, it's like they want to build, but also they're going through some things as they're building. Now, with this ace of spirits, could be that uh, this person is definitely viewing you as a lot of sexual, hot, passionate energy. Queen of spirits right next to it, baby. So, Capricorns, definitely some sort of love situation you're going through or a connection, major soulmate connection. Somebody you've probably been dealing with for quite some time. You have the two of cup energy here and also the six of cups. So I'm feeling like someone wants to make a block or someone feels like there's a major block in this connection uh, that could be apprehending a lot of uh, messages or just overall the situation environmental wise. Okay. So. For some of you all, I'm definitely seeing here, this person is dealing with some sort of financial issues or a financial matter. You have the Ace of Coins or the Queen of Coins, and they view you as somebody who has some sort of abundance or something you could be holding on to. It could be, uh, you know, just how you feel overall, because this is a lot of physical energy here, Capricorn. For some of you all, you could have just shut yourself off, but I definitely see that there could be some abundance or some offers on the table, but you're definitely gaining some sort of insight here. For some of you all, I'm definitely seeing with the Page of Swords, there could be uh, some sort of spying energy or somebody who wants to spy. It's definitely how they're viewing you because of a betrayal. Okay, Like I said, there was some sort of ending of some sort. I remember reading this in the cards uh, not too long ago that you guys were going through some someone who was feeling very backstabbed, like someone did something very wrong here, and they feel like they have to spy and kind of withdraw themselves. It's definitely what I'm seeing here. Okay, So... I feel like underneath the surface, someone is definitely making multiple choices. You have the seven of cups and also the three of cups. Could be some invites or you could be going out with your family, friends, mother, sister, brother. All right. Underneath the surface, definitely third party situation. Three of spears. Once again, like I said, there's definitely someone who's uh, analyzing a, something with a third party. All right. It could be that they're wanting to see their ships come in, but I'm definitely seeing that um, someone could be just standing there awaiting new opportunity feeling like there could be a burden or there's just an overall shadow uh overcast in your energy that causes a lot of loss or feels like there's a lot of things that you need to leave away from 
all right under the surface i'm seeing here someone wants to stick in this situation you have the star energy here and you also have uh the uh, Four of Cups. So I'm feeling like with the Four of Cups, someone is wanting to aid you, but you're just needing to go into renewal with yourself. You have the Eight of Swords as well. So underneath the surface, you're changing, okay? You're definitely going to start communicating. You could have blocked some people off, but you're going to start this major communication. You have the Magician energy here. So someone could be forcing some new communication, or there could be some, some tricky energy overall with this Magician. But I'm definitely seeing here that you're going to have the strength and you're going to begin the power. For some of you all, I'm definitely seeing here uh, a major action with the King of Spears, right? Someone who's wanting to take an action because they found the strength to communicate. So, Capricorns, let's see about possible outcomes. Here we go. We have the Two of Spears energy, so someone who's definitely setting out to seek other things. You could be on the balcony looking out at a view, okay, with the Two of Spears. But I'm definitely seeing here with the Four of Coins, somebody who's letting go and releasing with this, uh, with setting out, all right, or looking for better days or a better view. So, possible outcomes. I do see here that someone is wanting to be the Ice Queen with the Queen of Swords, wanting straight factual information. Give it to me straight, all right? I'm also seeing here that there definitely could be a situation where you're wanting to integrate or you're coming to some sort of accomplishments, but you feel like there could be something that's hovering over your shoulders, which could be the devil, but this is your card, okay? I could be, uh, you could be feeling like there is definitely some sort of love renewals coming your way, but it could be like toxic energy. There's going to be some fair balance with this uh, justice energy here. You guys have been getting this for quite some time, which is fairness, fair play, decision making, responsibility. All right, Capricorn. I'm definitely seeing here for some of you all, it's just overall this love uh, of emotion that this person wants to bring to you in a, in a large amount of abundance. All right. Could be that they're, you're having wonderful, loving conversations. It also could be that you're just having a lot of fairness. You're trying not to let all of this go too much. All right. I do see a lot of happiness here with this nine of cups, baby. For some of you all, this person could be moving very slow with this Knight of Coins, all right? Somebody also could be having a lot of anxiety with this Knight of Swords. Somebody could be feeling entrapped. But I'm seeing a lot of happiness here. Your wish coming fulfilled is definitely what I'm seeing here, Capricorn. So some things could have bothered you, but also at the same time, you're just trying to keep that poker face with that King of Cups, not trying to display too many emotions or too much of a loss, all right? Because Capricorns are good at that shit. Now, I do see your possible outcomes. You guys are definitely going to be working hard towards new opportunity or a new beginning with this full energy. So, bottom of the deck, you also have the three of coins, the five of spheres in reverse, and the queen of cups. So, I'm feeling like some of you guys could be like thinking or building towards a third-party situation or trying not to go into the struggle with a third-party situation. Um, it looks to me like you're definitely going to be taking some sort of action. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Also, uh, Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. Okay, but you're going to have a lot of success and someone is going to be making an action towards you, Capricorn. So, get ready. Okay, Cancer Pisces Scorpio here for sure. All right, Capricorn. Y'all look like y'all about to have a good week. Ready to take that move. That's what I'm seeing here. A good weekend. Yes. Accomplishments, baby. So, let's see what's going on. Taurus. Let's see what's going on, Taurus. Overall, how you feel between you. Ooh, Taurus. Ace of Cups energy. Damn. Talk to me. Somebody's definitely wanting some sort of love here. Okay, it could be a love situation involved overall. But I'm definitely feeling like with the Page of Cups, uh, there could be an overall situation that you're wanting. It could be like an immature energy, Taurus. But I'm definitely seeing here a lot of love situations, a lot of emotions that are definitely uh, coming out. All right. Could be some messages or someone could be trying to display uh, some sort of message of affection. All right, so for some of you all, it could be that there's a new start. There could be some pregnancy here with this empress. New beginning or new abundance could be due to family situations, could be due to a message, but I'm seeing a lot of love here, a lot of new beginnings, Taurus. This is looking damn beautiful. Okay, so let's see how your partner views you. All right, six of pentacle energy here and the five of wands. 
I mean, the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. So, for some of you all, it's looking to me like your partner is viewing you as equal, give and take, equal opportunity. You could be giving to other people. I'm definitely seeing that they're uh, viewing you as somebody who's ready to make a fight. They could have been feeling like they were left out in the cold. For some of you all, there definitely could be some sort of marriage or commitment. Uh, but somebody is definitely feeling like they're being left out or there's a loss of some sort with that five. I am seeing here with this Wheel of Fortune energy that some of you guys are definitely going through a karmatic cycle with your karmic partner. All right. So they're viewing you as someone who's wanting communication, wanting to get out and go see some things with this Ace of Swords energy, wanting to have that new opportunity is definitely what I'm seeing here. Communicating new ideas. All right. Uh, there could be some sort of imbalances, but I'm definitely seeing here that there is going to be a major balance for some of you all. Now, with this emperor energy, I'm feeling like they're wanting to build towards you, right? You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius because the temperance energy wanted to come in reverse. So for some of you all, it's like someone is definitely making a final decision here. Okay is how they're viewing you towards building let's see what's underneath the surface Taurus, for the weekend yeah like i said some sort of marriage or somebody is working towards a goal of marriage but they feel like somebody might be a little distant with the eight of cups energy here that someone could be married with that four of wands but i'm definitely seeing here that there's someone who's working and analyzing overall the situation so i'm seeing here Taurus, that there's definitely uh, someone who's hanging around a situation, got the hangman energy. Some of you all could have left away from a situation <clears throat> temporarily. But underneath the surface, there's definitely someone who's wanting to show some passion or some compassion to one energy. All right. They're trying to leave all the three of those energies behind and show some sort of passion here. There could have been some sort of betrayal that you're healing from that could have caused a struggle. And I'm just getting that message on the side. Uh, there also could have been some sort of explosive energy or something underneath the surface that you're feeling is not going to work. But I'm definitely feeling like you're just overall healing and you're trying to figure out how you're going to do these things alone. All right. Underneath the surface, Taurus, I'm definitely seeing here Ace of Pentacle energy. So someone is really wanting to make uh, a new start with you or bring some sort of love delivery to you. Money, abundance, traveling. Okay, things of that nature because they're working towards a situation that could have caused a little destruction or some chaos to make you feel alone but underneath the surface i do see you have a lot of strength energy here you could be dealing with a leo okay leo sagittarius aries virgo taurus capricorn for sure i feel like this is your energy and also gemini libra aquarius uh oh baby so for some of you all, there definitely could be a situation where you have a lot of strength underneath the surface that you're going to uh, achieve. All right. Even though this tower moment is here. So let's see about possible outcomes, Taurus. Nine of Cups energy, also the Fool. All right. So for some of you, all, I feel like for the weekend, um, there's going to be some sort of action made towards you. Someone could be drinking as well, drinking and driving with that Knight of Cups. Could be just an action overall that they're going to take flight to you. There's something that someone is definitely healing from with this Four of Wands. You could be resting, reflecting. Some of you all could be thinking about a futuristic opportunity or a family of some sort. You also could be thinking about um, how you're going to manifest with all of these things that you have in the air and get back your power because you could be losing out on some sort of emotion or somebody is just trying to empty away their emotions and leave away from their head being in the clouds is what I'm seeing here. Okay. So for some of you all, it's like you're trying to bring some love. There's going to be some love connections. There also could be some integration of families of some sort. There also could be a situation where it's like you guys are definitely wanting to um, start over again, all right, and empty out those emotions. I do see you're going to be minding your own business with the nine of principles. You could be receiving some messages with the page of wands or someone could be extremely uh, immature due to their actions here. Okay. But be aware that there's definitely um, a third party situation or someone who's trying to take action towards the third party with family and friends, things of that nature. But be aware that there's definitely someone who has a major connection with you and wants to 
uh, try to stay in this situation tough, all right? High Priestess energy here. Bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So I do see you focusing on your coin. Making a lot of movement too with that chariot energy. You could be dealing with the Cancerian. But I'm definitely feeling like you're trying to avoid some sort of argumentative energy. Now you could be dealing with a Scorpio. But you're going through some sort of transformation. And you're going to receive some sort of news or information um, that you've been waiting on. Okay? So get ready, Taurus. Bye, bye. Let's see, Virgo, what's going down. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see overall what's up with you. All right, lover's energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You also could be dealing with um, a, another Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But I'm feeling like for some of you all, you're just wanting to see that equal give and take. All right? Uh, definitely a lot of ties here for some of you all. Could be that someone is joined through a unionship, or there could be some sort of message that you're receiving through this unionship. All right, definitely could be dealing with Gemini, but I am seeing here a six of point energy. Somebody's going in that equal give and take. You could be dealing with children, multiple children, but I'm seeing here that someone is trying to come out of having admiration for someone else, or feeling like there could be some jealousy surrounded by this energy in your thought process because you're definitely going to be working hard and diligently towards uh success here you could be fighting it in your mind but you're going to be coming into some sort of tranquil uh peace okay definitely a peace of mind here after fighting it and being in two minds about a situation that you were definitely working hard towards i do see you could have been fighting with someone but you are just trying to gain your overall peace back is what i'm seeing here so let's see how your partner views you all right, you got the Two of Wands, also the Knight of Wands. Your partner views you as someone who's willing to work together, but they're also uh, trying to put up a defense mechanism or someone is trying to avoid conflict, all right? Avoid sending out those messages that could be bothersome. I am seeing a lot of birds here. And also uh, with the Ace of Pentacle Energy, your partner is definitely viewing you as someone who wants an abundance with them, okay? There could be presenting you some sort of offers. There could be some dates as well. There could be a pregnancy as well, all right? You got the seven of pentacle energy here. She is big pregnant, baby. For some of you, I'm definitely seeing that you're trying to just take calm, all right, and relax. That's definitely what I'm seeing here with the sun energy, vitality for sure, all right? So your partner is definitely viewing you as that. Coming to your senses as well and afraid to make an action of some sort. That's definitely what I'm seeing here is how they're viewing you. Uh, you could be coming to your senses, but you're also at the same time uh, wanting new opportunities and new energies to make a new spark. All right. So you have the page of swords energy. Baker. Somebody could be spying Virgo. Mm hmm. Could be on your social media page, uh, your Facebook page, Instagram. All right, could be sending you some weird emails, whatever the case may be. They could be researching and looking and you don't even know about it. You also have the six of cup energy. So someone is definitely analyzing the situation that could be at a distance between someone else or someone could be at a distance, but you're definitely having a lot of fond memories or there could be a lot of nostalgia that you're afraid to move away from with the six of swords coming in reverse. It's definitely how they're viewing you. Okay, so let's see what's under the surface. Virgo, let's see what's under the surface for the weekend. All right, you have the Three of Cups energy, so definitely dealing with a third-party situation. There also could be some truths and light shown with this moon energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces as well, but I'm definitely seeing here that there could be an opportunity that you're dealing with the three parties that you come out of these fears, all right? And I'm definitely seeing here there could be a situation overall you're trying not to have a lot of anxiety over. But someone could be leaving away from a situation because they have a hard time making an action. They could be, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here for sure. For some of you all, I'm definitely seeing that there could be where it's, someone is just wanting some sort of balance and to build towards something. But there is so much anxiety um, that they're having a hard time with dealing with it. Okay, you have the <laughs> You have the nine of swords. So look at her. Look at her face. So somebody looks to me like they're having a hard time dealing with the overall issue or having an equal balance towards building. 
All right. Now, with this world energy, could be some sort of integration or bringing together a lot of things. You have a lot of colors, so you guys could be trying to blend families. You also could be trying to have some accomplishments of some sort. All right. It's definitely what I'm seeing here. So I do see under the surface, there's definitely a lot of home situations or family foundations that you're wanting to make this new spark. There's going to be a lot of security coming towards you this weekend, right? Could be some sex energy, Virgo darlings. I'm also seeing here that someone is trying to come out of feeling like they're missing out on a situation or they were feeling like they were left out and lonely. You have the hermit energy here in reverse and also the five of pentacles in reverse. It's definitely someone who's coming out of their shadows, all right? And I'm definitely seeing here that there could be a situation. It's like overall, you're just wanting to uplift yourself. You have the Ace of Swords. It's in your environment. And you're very, very strong towards, you know, uplifting yourself and getting some new ideas and bright ideas is what I'm seeing here. So for the weekend, possible outcomes, a lot of accomplishments coming your way there could be someone who's hanging around your situation that has a hard time making an action that could be that spying energy so definitely be aware of that but i do see here you're going to be majorly successful with this six of wands and also the queen of pentacles my loves now i am seeing with this uh double energy could be some toxic energy you're dealing with Virgo, Taurus, capricorn cancer Pisces, scorpio here someone wants to make an action but they're also just like kind of scared to jump through it could be dealing with a lot of third parties. It's been a lot of third parties and everyone spread pretty much. But I'm seeing here a possible outcome. Somebody wants to restart or some new sort, some sort of new uh, rekindle ship here with the Ace of Cups. All right. And also the death energy. Bottom of the deck, you could be um, receiving messages with the Eight of Wands. And also two of coin energy here, making a major balance and going back and forth. Definitely letting go of or releasing argumentative energy. Right, and also some sort of connection as well with the two of cups. So get ready, baby. Now I'm definitely seeing here for some of you all, it could be just you're trying to go through a renewal process and get rid of this third party situation and look forward to futuristic opportunity and becoming more so aware because you are going to be completely happy for sure. So get ready, baby. Okay. Now, if you'd like to get a personal read from me, make sure you guys hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com as well. And also you can email me at laurelbanks at gmail.com. All right. Peace.